What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you another money method on Red Dead Online that I've currently been using to make myself a bit of money. We are actually not in Valentine for once. For once we are not in Valentine. We are all the way over just below Armadillo in Lake Don Julio which is actually a very quiet place. There was someone right beside me a minute ago. I think he's gone off and there was no problems with that guy or girl whatsoever so he was doing fishing or she that person was doing fishing and then we were doing a bit of fishing here setting up the method to uh, to go and do a bit of fishing all you have to do is come to this location and as you turn around there is a lot of different fish and with this location as I'm gonna go back into the map there are quite a few different spots so if there's a couple of different people all already over here it's not too much of a problem because you can go to a couple different locations so the person that I was next to he was actually right there there is also another fishing spot there and then on top of that there is also another one over there this one is a bit more awkward because there's a bit of a bank and there's a bit of a drop to the water so as you look across you can go and see that over there there is that bank across but fish do spawn there if you can get yourself into a location where you can chuck your fishing rod in you'll make a decent amount of money so as I've been standing here we have got quite a few different fish. I've been standing here for maybe a minute or two plus the intro of this video as well. I did go and catch a few fish, but as you can see, there are a lot here. You should be able to get a full satchel of smallmouth bass, pickerel, and also I think you could get rock bass or bluegill. I keep forgetting which one it is, but it is another type of fish as well. And all you have to do is, uh, is chuck your fishing rod in and then slowly reel it in. As they're so close to shore, Realistically, you don't need to throw it that far and then as I always do I throw it further than the group of fish and then I slowly reel it into a location where there's quite a few fish and there we go We already get one that was what 10 seconds must be like 10 seconds and as these are not very big fish You should be able to reel these in pretty easily fairly quickly and uh, make yourself a decent amount of money now this is a smallmouth bass and that should, I think, smallmouth bass either go for $1 or $2. I keep forgetting. I feel like it is $2. But a smallmouth bass there is pretty decent. So uh, you should be able to get a full satchel of these, like I said. The only problem with this spot is there is that rock right in the middle. Now, you could realistically use that. Me, I go either side. Normally, there is a group either side of the rocks. And I always go and chuck my fishing rod across the biggest group. And I'm hoping we can get this one before it swims to the other side. We should be able to get a fish here. And, okay, we're right in a group. I can feel it. There we go. And that, like I said, it does not take too long to do this method, to come to this location and then go and do a bit of fishing. Now, that one actually worked out really well for me as it was pulled up onto that rock and I could have pulled that all the way from there, which is actually very, very good and very lucky. If you want to make some XP, as always, all you need to do is go and get some dynamite out and you can go and chuck that in. And I'm looking at this, thinking that this is a redfin pickerel. I think I might have said chain pickerel earlier. What I mean is that you should be able to go and get a full satchel of redfin pickerel in this location. But like I said, if you want to make XP instead of make money, all you have to do is go and chuck a stick of dynamite in. I'm not actually going to go and do that, despite me having a stick of dynamite i have recently completed uh my awards for the uh, the hunting where i can no longer get xp out of that because it is completely maxed out at 10 and i cannot reset but i made myself a lot of xp out of doing that if you want to go and do it i highly recommend doing it it does not take too long to go and max it out if you're actually trying to do it um, me, I only chuck a stick of dynamite in every now and then. I don't go out my way to get XP, but if you were to go out your way to get XP, it does not take too long. So I'm going to go and get myself one more fish, uh, and then we're going to head back. Unfortunately, there is not a, uh, a butcher in Armadillo, which means we have to go all the way over to Tumbleweed, but that is not too much of a problem. I will show you a, a type of route that you can use where you can either travel back by horse all the way back to Tumbleweed where you can get a bit more money or you can just fast travel which is what I'll probably end up doing because it only costs I think a dollar two dollars max and then uh, I can go straight to the butcher sell it travel back and go and do this method I have also got a uh, I think a pro horn buck on the back of my horse 
you can get a lot of them in this location. As you travel over here for the first time, you will get a lot just along this edge right here. So you can go and kill them, skin them, put them on your horse. I killed one just to show you that you can get them. So if you was going to go in to go back, what I would do is pretty much go along this route and then head all the way up here. There is a cougar in this location. And as you come back across, you should be able to go and get a condor as well as other birds in this location. There's also, I think right about here, you can get quite a few different animals. I think you have some more pro hog bucks. Those are pretty good. And uh, once you get a quite a few of them, you can make yourself a decent amount of money. And then obviously the butchers is there. So that is one way and you will be making money on the way back. Me though, just for today, I'm gonna go get to this fast travel. It is not too far away. And then we are gonna go and fast travel back to Tumbleweed where I'll show you everything of things that will sell for different prices. Okay, so we are in Tumbleweed. It did not take long to get over here as I was using fast travel. To fast travel between Armadillo and Tumbleweed, all it does is cost $2, which is actually very good considering a smallmouth bass, it does sell for $2. So all you need to do is catch what two of them, sorry, I was going to say one of them, but all you have to do is catch two of them and that makes up your money for traveling to the location and also back. But that is the only problem with this method. If I was going to go and spend a bit more time there, I would have made, probably got a full satchel of the fish that was there. I did not want to show you guys what type of fish that you could get and how much they're going for. But $14 for smallmouth bass is actually pretty decent. And then venison meat as well. Uh, like I said, you can go get a lot of pro hong bucks around that area. Redfin pickerel, that is the other fish. You should easily be able to go and make yourself $10 out of that because you should be able to get a full satchel of them. And then, like I said, the pro hong buck. It was poor carcass anyway, so I was wasn't too bothered about fast travel but I've seen a lot of comments in my recent videos where I've done fast travel with fish I imagine if it works with fish it'll also work with animals but every time that you fast travel with a fish on the back of your horse it will take a perfect fish down to a poor quality fish but I've been told that if you get off your horse say 10 yards maybe 15 yards away from the fast travel go into the fast travel fast travel as in just run into it and then press Y and then select the location that you want to go to that will then fast travel to that location and once you get to that new location all you have to do is call your horse and then everything should be the same quality so I imagine it's going to be the same thing with different animal carcasses that will reduce in quality if you was to fast travel but I imagine by doing the exact same thing of get off your horse and then go into the fast travel you will make sure that that quality stays there which means you'll be making more money this one like I said it was all already poor quality because I messed up the shot but still if, if that was good quality put a perfect quality that is a way to uh, to go and try and keep it that way so uh, we got those in that location as well but anyway guys that is the method that I'm currently using in Red Dead Online I hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now I'm going so see ya